Hi everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at how to add resource functionality into your RAD Schedule View implementation, and of course, RAD Schedule View is part of the Telerik RAD controls for Silverlight and WPF control suites for .NET XAML development. In today's video, first we're going to take a really quick look at implementing a brand new RAD Schedule View, and then we're going to explain resources a little bit, just so you can understand exactly how they can benefit your RAD Schedule View implementation. Last but certainly not least, we're going to go ahead and add some resources to RAD Schedule View and show how the UI automatically works with your resources to make it easy to add them to new and existing appointments. Jumping into Visual Studio, we've already created a brand new solution, so we'll just go into the toolbox, take RAD Schedule View, drop it into our design surface, and we'll go ahead and get rid of some of this extra code that Visual Studio wants to create. and set a name to my usual naming convention, add xrad schedule view. So we now have, as we know, a working rad schedule view, which means we can go ahead and put some old familiar code in. But of course, rather than watch me type out the observable collection code one more time, we're going to go ahead and just paste this in and use just code to fix all of our usings, make sure we have all the right assemblies referenced. Which means that if I go ahead and run this right now, we're going to see our brand new appointment displaying in RAD Schedule View, which we created by just by dragging and dropping it out of the toolbox and fixing some of those Visual Studio properties that we defined. So we have a new appointment, we have our Edit Appointment dialog, so now we're already rolling with RAD Schedule View. So of course the next step is to figure out how we want to add resources. Now to explain resources a little bit, say you're making a schedule application for, for a dentist's office. You may have so many hygienists that you have on staff and you have to make sure their schedules don't overlap. Or perhaps you're trying to schedule an event and you have so many rooms and you want to make sure that you are fully booking those rooms with different appointments, which could be sessions, could be demonstrations, could be, you know, open space time. Well, you need some way to be able to view within RAD Schedule View how these resources are being allocated and defined. Now you can do this from both Code Behind and from XAML, but I want to step into XAML because I happen to be a huge fan of handwriting XAML, just so you can kind of see the inner workings of how we work with resources in this control. So we go into Telerik, write a schedule view, then we want to go over to Resource, Type Source. Here we're going to find Telerik, and we have a lot of different options. We're going to go ahead in this case and say Resource Type Collection. Here we can define a resource type, and with this we have a few different options. Multiple selection means we can select more than one of the given resource within this collection. Display name is what you're actually going to see displayed for this type of resource, as well as name and brush, which are other properties you can use to further define and distinguish your resources. In our case, we're going to go ahead and say both display name is location, and name will be location. Now, since these are locations, logically we're not going to allow you to select more than one. Since the laws of physics kind of dictate you can't be in two places at the same time, although sometimes we would love to. And within this resource type collection, we're going to go ahead and define some Telerik resources. And for resources, we want to set two important things. The resource name. And for this we can say Hall A. And then the resource type, which is going to be the type that we have right here which is going to be location. Go ahead and use the magic of copy and paste. Make a few of these, except we want to say Hall A, Hall B, and Hall C. Which now means within our appointments we're going to have the option to choose a location being Hall A, Hall B, or Hall C when we create and edit appointments. So to prove this we'll go ahead and run our project. Internet Explorer will pop open. We're going to see our familiar RAD Schedule view showing up. Go down to our current appointment that we are ready to find, so we know it's here, we know what it looked like before. But now clicking in, we can go and see that there's now a location drop down, which automatically appeared in our template. This is some of the beauty of how our team has created this. If you do not have resources, you will see absolutely nothing in this area. If you do have resources, we'll list all of them here for displaying and picking. And I can go ahead and say this one's going to be in Hall A. I'll make a brand new appointment. New. Definitely new. In this case we'll say Hall B. And now we have the ability to go ahead and put these items. See Hall A is still there. Hall B is still there. 
into their own resources and help allocate resources through appointments. Now, of course, you're going to be able to see how this feature becomes even more powerful as we step into our next few videos when we get to talk about resource grouping and resource filtering, which are two exciting features of RAD Schedule View that you can take advantage of to make your applications even more powerful. And I hope you've enjoyed watching how to add resources to your RAD Schedule View implementation. And don't forget, especially in this RAD Schedule View video series, adding resources is just the tip of the iceberg, because next up we're going to learn how we can take these resources and group by them in RAD Schedule View to get a much better display for how resources are being allocated. And last but certainly not least, we're going to see how we can filter what we have in RAD Schedule View by resources. So even if you're not grouping, you have an easy way to view how resources are being distributed through appointments that are visible in RAD Schedule View. So definitely stay tuned for more.